There's a world that exists where people create joyfully, love ridiculously, and cultivate their passions relentlessly. L O V E Love. The streets of Reading, PA are enclosed by mountain terrain that becomes oil painting like when rich hues of burgundy, army green, and mustard yellow emerge every autumn. The population is just shy of 88,000 with more than 70% of the residents identifying as black, Hispanic, or Latino. The pretzel city is the moniker that they've given us, although most people I know don't really subscribe to that identifier. Even in one of the poorest cities in the country, there is beauty everywhere. In the trees that line the homes, in the Spanish and hip hop music blasting from the cars, and in the faces of the residents, some more financially stable than others and most feeling the perils of living in an urban dwelling that is trapped in poverty's grips. It is a world anew that is both of the present and the future, on the horizon of greatness and devoid of mediocrity. It is also void of inauthentic idealism. In this world, open spaces and writing homes and warm embraces are felt on a cellular level, both spiritually and scientifically. In careful recognition of self, love, community, knowledge, and God, in this world we follow our soul's individual and collective callings as we dance to a unanimous groove. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? It is universally vibrating. Everyone here is doing what they love to do, work. There are no hierarchical categories because soul callings, as interconnected as they may be, are individual. Whether full or part-time, we do what we love, even when it's tough. We realize that this is the only way to save ourselves, to save each other, to save the world. <laughs>